call to the member for Hunter. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Health. In, the, in its first 12 months, how has the Albanese government delivered on its promise to deliver better health care for Australians after a decade of neglect? The call to the Minister for Health and Aged Care. Well, thank you, uh, Speaker. Uh, and I want to thank the member for Hunter for his question. He was so clear in his promise to his community at the last election on his commitment to deliver better health care for his community in the Hunter Valley. He promised to reinstate funding that was cut by the Liberal Party to the Hunter After Hours GP service, a nation leading after hours service, and he delivered on that promise along with his colleagues, the member for Paterson, the member for Newcastle and the member for Shortland. He promised to reinstate the right of general practices in his community to recruit overseas trained doctors, and he delivered on that promise as well. And after nine long years of cuts and neglect to Medicare that have made it harder than ever to see a doctor and more expensive, he promised to strengthen Medicare. And Mr Speaker, this month's budget, we delivered on that promise as well, with a $6 billion package of new initiatives to strengthen Medicare, along with the largest increase across the board to Medicare rebates in more than 30 years, a $1.5 billion boost to indexation that next year in one year will deliver a bigger increase to Medicare rebates than the former government delivered in their first seven years, in their first seven years of government. But, Mr Speaker, the centrepiece of this month's budget and our strengthening Medicare package is $3.5 billion to triple the bulk billing incentive, because for the Labor Party, bulk billing is the beating heart of the Medicare system, the beating heart of the system. And this will make a huge change to general practice. For in the cities, a standard bulk build consult in the cities will see an increase to GPs of more than a third. The total fee paid to GPs will rise by more than a third, and that increase will be even higher in regions like the Hunter Valley. A standard bulk build consult in Cessnock, for example, in the Hunter Valley, in the member for Hunter's electorate, will rise by 50 per cent, from $50 to $75. This covers, as the Prime Minister said, more than 11 million Australians, accounting for more than 60 per cent of all activity in general practice, including 88,000, can I say, in the member for Hunter's electorate. That is why the College for General Practitioners described this budget as a game changer, particularly the bulk billing. It will be a game changer Mr. Speaker, for millions of mums and dads who want the confidence that when their kid gets sick, they can go to a bulk bill doctor. A game changer for millions of pensioners, self-funded retirees, concession card holders who need the confidence of bulk billing. And Mr Speaker, importantly, a game changer for tens of thousands of general practitioners who, after nine years, finally see a government in Canberra that values their important work. 